We will shortly break ground in Zawadi Primary School, Honorable Nixon, uh, Nixon Okwacho Juma. We are breaking ground. I want to thank you and thank you, Member of Parliament, Honorable Yusuf, for the support because they insisted that that kitchen must be built at Zawadi Primary School because of the informal settlement of Kiambiu that is next to it. The idea was to take it to a different school, but they insisted and they've even moved critical infrastructure that they will replace using CDF to make sure that that kitchen works. Uh, dish in a county kitchen at Zawadi. Demolition of classes has commenced. And Dishina County is an initiative of the area MCA. Honorable Nicholas Okwacho Juma, who is representing the city south. And this kitchen will be serving the Eastlands environs from Kamukunji and its environs. Uh, let's also hear what the, this is Zawadi. You can see we have got a vast compound here. And uh, in the county address, 2024 Third Assembly, His Excellency Governor Arthur Johnson Sakaja mentioned the project that is to commence. Part of the temporary classes that will be put up at Sawandi. Yes. This are to allow for space condition quality. Yes. Work has commenced, as you can see, at Zawadi. the additional county initiative at Zawadi School. Here to the office of the MCA is in the south. Honorable uh, Nicholas Okoto Juma, we have uh, Joseph Razak, aka Pep. Uh, Pep, can you introduce yourself to the, to the show? Okay, kwa majina ni tuwa Joseph Prazak. Yes. Kama Pep, tina muta. Ya, mindo kye wa mwishima ni Prazak Juma. Yes. Na, nini, nini aswa inendelea hapa zawadi leo hii? Okay, kwa saizi, kuna vitu mbini zinaendelea. Uh, kuna hizi structure zina demolishi wa zipave for construction of the addition account kitchen. Yes. Alafu on the other end, yes. kuna temporary classrooms for. Yes. Zina tengenezo huko zitumike na watoto at least second time kifunguliwa. Yes. But later on, mm. kuna four permanent classrooms zita tengenezo wako mbele. Yes. Yes. So, uh, kumekuwa na changamoto kabla hii project kuwe kulikuwa na wakati komitia ya shule ilikuwa meleta taaruki kidogo muli muli manager ku solve hiyo uh, siwezi sema ti committee ya shule ileleta taaruki yes. eh, kitu iko ni unajua school board yes. ndio iko in charge ya hapa yes. especially ukiangalia teacher mm. yendo ndo accountable kwa mambo ya shule na ile board yes. so pia walikuwa na concerns ambao walikuwa me raise yes. kwa sababu ile dish na county kitchen inataka space kubwa na the only way tungeza pata kuweka kwa kiwanja tungeuma kiwanja yes. tungeweka ipa ndingine kuna mali kwa mpande wa miti yeah. na hiyo ndio the only green space iko hapa zawadi Yes. So ile changamoto ilikuwa ikakuwa ni indoor space iko uh, and uh, we had to demolish some structures yes. to pave way for that kitchen. So lazima board ya shule wangekaa chini na mheshimiwa Nicholas Juma and in his wisdom pia ka involve mheshimiwa Yusuf Hassan kwa sababu ku demolish structure inabidi tutengeneze other new structures wanafunzi wa CJ waka kwa inconvenienced. Yes. That's why to let a machine wa Yusuf Hassan on board. Mm. Eh, CDF in a construct temporary classrooms mm. na bado kuna mpangilio ya kutengeneza permanent structures pia hapo mbele. Oh. Yeah. Na hii building ya addition account hii itatengenezwa na county. Ah uh, kuna hiyo addition account ni yes. project ambayo hii imeshikiliwa na governor. Mm. So yeye ndo akina better position ya kuongelea lakini tunajua ni project ni flagship project ya governor. Uh, manake kwa uh, national county, uh, county address 2024 ya third assembly jana nimesikia mheshimiwa uh, East Excellency Governor Sir Johnson Arthur Sakaja akiongelea hii mradi na amesifu sana mheshimiwa wa East South Honorable Nicholas Okwacho Juma na mheshimiwa wa Kamukunji Yusuf Hassan Abdi. Uh, inaonekana uh, mheshimiwa Nicholas Juma is a man on a mission inakani kama anafulfill zile pledges zake za campaign. Wewe kama PA what is your take on that before to wind up i maneno? 
Uh, ile kitu ambao ningesema kitu kwanza tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu yes. kwa kumpatia nafasi hiyo yes. ya kuhudumia wananchi. Yeah. Na kama ilivyo, huu ni mtu ambaye alitaka kiti yes. ili aoneshe ile mabadiliko ambayo ataleta hapa Sydney South. Yes. So so far so good. Mm. Kuna so many projects leo tulikuwa tunaongelea dish na county. Mm. Another time ukitu interview tutakuelezea kuhusu miradi zingine mm. ambazo ziko pale mbele. Mm. Na pia tunamshukuru Mheshimiwa Yusuf Hassan Abdi yes. wako in a very work, good working relationship na Mheshimiwa Nicolas Okwacho Juma. Mm. Kama si afisi ya MP huenda mm. labda bado tungekuwa tumekwama kwa hii maneno. Yes. Lakini sasa alikuwa anatupatia mwelekeo. Unajua so, MC ana fedha za kufanya vitu vingine kama hizi construct yes. classrooms. Yes. So ilibidi ashirikiane kwa karibu na Mheshimiwa Yusuf Hassan alipopatia hiyo nafasi ya construct classrooms ndio ilikuwa rais hata sisi kufanya hii demolition ya structures to pave for the kitchen. Okay, thank you sana Peter to the office of the MCA City South and Honorable Nicholas Okwacho Juma. Ila kitu ningependa kuongelea. Yes. The reason why Mheshimiwa Nicholas Juma insists on additional county kitchen project kuwa hapa yes. Zawadi, hii ndio ambayo itakuwa inasave Kamukunji constituency ama Kamukunji sub county. Yes. Hakuna any other additional county kitchen ambayo iko area. Alafu the reason why I insist kabisa ukiangalia zawadi mm. eh, isili south hapa imezungukwa na slums. Yes. Hii zawadi na beba watoto wa motherland, Mugunda, Mlolongo, kuna area asiwe japa chini yes. na hususan pia kiambia ambao ni kubwa. Yes. This is the only public school yenye kwa hapa. Na hii shule inasaa mpaka watoto wa Kinyago na wengine watoka Bahati. Yes. So ukiangalia hii kitchen kuku hapa ni very important. Hata watoto wa slums wengine wanatoka kwa wajakula sapa, wajakula breakfast. So kukiwa na chakula hapa utapata hata enrollment ya shule itakuwa imepanda na masomo itakuwa imeimprove tunatumai yes. hivyo mm. yes alafu apart from hiyo pia kuna ECD mm. eh, ECD project inakuja this year mheshimiwa Nicolas uh, Kwecho Juma alikuwa me lobby ikiletwa pale itatengenezwa angalau watoto wetu wa ECD pia watapata mali ambayo inastahili au kusomea so it's part of education uh, infrastructure ambayo inatengenezwa huku kusaidia watoto wetu na masomo Thank you sana pia to the office of the MCA and the Nicholas Okwacho Juma General Razak. Na tukiwind up kuna any anyway beneficiary wa Isili South ila ame ame benefit kwa hii mradi ya Dish na County. Uh, beneficiary ambao wana benefit kitu wa kwanza hii kazi unaona hata hii mambo ya demolition afanywa hapa hivi yes. ni local community members wanaifanya hata hizi construction zitaendelea hapa mm. watu wa mkono watakuwa community yeah. na kuna ule mzee ambaye amenifurahisha kabisa mm. alifurahia na hii project sana inaitwa Peter Chege aka yeah. Filie yeah, Kenta Kenta yeye yeah. ndo chairman wa Motherland huko amesimamia na nafurahia watoto watasoma hapa hivi vizuri na wakule na sijui atakuwa beneficiary kivipi lakini tunamwomea Mwenyezi Mungu na yeye pia akuwe ndani anaweza tusaidia hata part of management ya hii project na hapo tumempigia upato Peter Filie Chege akipata hapa hivi hata kazi si pia tutafurahia ah asante sana asante kwa jina ni Peter Kurugare Chege ambaye ni mmoja wa beneficiary wa Dish na County hivi tunazungumza nashukuru sana mheshimiwa Nicolas Okwacho Juma wa viongozi wengine ambao wameshikana pamoja waweze kutuletea kitchen hapa Zawadi Primary School hii ni shule ambayo inategemewa na vijana wengi na watoto wengi kutoka slums nadhani hapa kamkuji Isili South ndio iko the biggest slums ikianzia Mogonda, Sewage, Motherland, Kiambiyo yote wanakujanga shule hapa kwa sababu ni public school yenyewe iko hapa Isili South. So tunashukuru mheshimiwa Nicolas Okwacho Juma kwa kutukumbuka na kutuletea hiyo kitchen hapa ambao ndio hii mjengo mbona imebomolewa ili kitchen iweze kujengwa kwa sababu ni kitu kubwa sana inatakana mali hapa na tunashukuru kwa maana kitchen yenyewe itakuwa ikisavu mpaka shule zingine hapa Kampunji e itakuwa peke yake zawadi na tunatukuza uh, jina la Mungu kwa maana hii tumekuwa tukiombea na tumekuwa tukisema tu mheshimiwa aweze kutenda kile ambacho aliambia watu alisema atakuwa mtu wa miradi na nikusema na vitendo na hakika tumeona wakishikana na mheshimiwa ambaye ni MP wetu Yusuf Hassan Abdi tunajua tulitangazia watu wakati wa siasa ni maendeleo waziwazi sasa tunaziona barabara wanajenga watoto wanaenda shule sasa hii ni kitchen ili pasikuwe na kijana hata mmoja ambaye anasoma anakosa kwenda shule ati eti amekosa chakula ya kukula so tunashukuru sana kwa siku ya leo tuko hapa zawadi mahali ambapo kitchen inatengenezwa na ndio tunasema wacha Mungu wazidi kuwapatia neema hekima hawa waheshimiwa wetu ili wazidi kututendea kile ambacho walituambia asanteni sana na pita sheke kabla tu, tumalizie iki, iki kao ya, ya wanabari wa Katel TV network eh dish na county ni mradi ambao imeanza Nairobi na inalenga wale wanaitwa kwa society na lugha ya kimombo less privileged 
eh, wewe kama mkazi wa Isili section 3 Madiwa una yapi kusema juu ya mambo ya dishi na county uh, dishi na county nimeiona na tayari niko huko kundani kazi ya dishi na county tumeona uh, mahali kama pale Kiboro Primary School ambayo iko kwa, kwa slums kuna watoto wako wanaenda shule kwa sababu ya mtoto haja kunywa chai ajui atakula nini lunch lakini dishi na county imekuwa ikisaidia sana ukiangalia ile bakuli mtoto anawekewa kwa shilingi tano peke yake mpaka unaona kwa hiyo mtoto masomo itaingia kwa kichwa so dishi na county inapoenda kukua itakuwa hapa karibu na slums kuna watoto wengi ambao wazazi wao jiwezi wataweza kuafford ile 5 shillings na wataweza kulipa na wataweza kut, eh, kukua watoto wao wanaenda shule kwa sababu kuna chakula mtoto wewe sio atakosa kusoma kwa sababu ya chakula wewe kama mwendani wa dishi na county ambao umeanza kibarua juzi muko na mali ngapi hapa Nairobi mali chakula zinasaviwa hapa hapa Nairobi tuko na ile kitchen kubwa iko Giga ambayo iko pale Mombasa Road yes Aa, kuna ingine imejengwa hapa starehe ambao eh, second term tuna hope itarudi kwa sababu kuna urekebisho liko nafanywa kidogo yes. iko hapo Rescue Primary School yes hapa BD Primary School kunayo Buruburu eh uh, hiyo iko pande ya Buruburu kuna mingi hata pande ya Mbakasi yes. lakini hii sasa ndio itaweza kushika watu wa Kamkuji uh, na shule zingine hapa za Makadara kama Morrison Bahati Primary ili tuweze kukaba Nairobi mzima watoto wasikose kwenda shule kwa sababu ya chakula. Na wewe kama mwendani wa dishi na county una uwa una report wapi? Uh, kwa sasa nidafanya report hapa Rescue Primary School yes. lakini kwa sababu kuna urekebisho inafanywa kidogo. Uh. Nimetumwa pale Jiga kwa main kitchen uh. lakini uwaga bado tuna serve St Bridget Muslim Primary, Pumwani Primary, uh, uh, Insworth, uh. Pangani Primary, Juja Road na pia Mathari Primary School tunawasafu kupitia hiyo ndio line ya Rescue Primary School. Na tukisema tukiwind up e, ndio twende twendele kwa shughuli zingine. Wewe kama mwandani wa Dish na County na tena Isili South na umezungumzia vile Dish na County imesaidia na ni mradi imeletwa na gavana wa jiji kuu la Nairobi Sakaja Ngumi Mbwekse. Ni nini unaona sasa inafaa wafanye ile kuweka Dish na County iwe bora zaidi ama iko sawa vile mambo yako? Ah uh, Dish na County kulingana vile naona dishi na county iko sawa. Yes. Mikakati ambao wale ambao wamepatiwa katika kurani hiyo dishi na county wamejipanga chakula wanazipeleka in time. Kila shule inapofika 12:45 watoto wanakuwa wamepanga line na hakika chakula wamepata in time. Kwa hivyo ile mikakati wamepanga na pia vile wanapatia watoto chakula ki eh wanabadilisha diet ya chakula kwa kila siku zetu wanawapatia marago na mchele yeah. pia wamebadilisha yani naona dish na county wamejipanga watoto wa Nairobi waweze kusoma na ukimalizia unaweza tuma ujumbe gani kwa mheshimiwa wa ICD South honorable Nicholas Okwacho Juma na mbunge wa Kamukunji honorable Yusuf Hassan Abdi kwa kuleta hii mradi hapa mashinani uh, yangu nitasema kwa wajum, kwa viongozi ambao tulichagua kuanzia MP Yusuf Hassan Abdi Eh, MCA wetu Nicholas Okwacho Juma ile kitu ambao tunasikia tumesikia furaha hapa Isili South ni kwamba wanatimiza kile walitoaahidi wakati wa kampeni sisi tulidhania watakuja tu kama wale wengine waweze kutuelezea mazuri lakini wakose kutimiza umesikia sasa hapa zawadi primary school patatengezwa mpaka ECD hiyo ni kitu ambayo mheshimiwa Nicholas Okwacho Juma alikuwa amesema lazima itatengenezwa sasa ametuongezea mpaka kitchen ambao ni hadithi na county at least watoto wa hapa zawadi waweze kusoma tukiangalia hii yote walituahidi kwa campaign na wameweza kushikana na wakasema watashikana mkono waweze kutumikia watu wa Isili South jinsi waliweza kuahidi tunawashukuru sana uh, mwisho ujumbe kwa governor wa jiji kuu la Nairobi eh, Johnson hata Sakaja uh, governor wa jiji kuu la Nairobi wacha niseme kwetu ni ngumi vexes kwa sababu inaonekana governor pia aliuliza kazi ili aweze kutendea watu wa Nairobi si wale ulizaga kazi alafu wanaanza kutuzungusha na kutufurahisha yeye ni kazi ameamua kufanyia watu wa Nairobi hivi anasema atatengeneza kitchen katika kila constituency kila sub county hiyo ni kuoneshana amedikelea Nairobi 17 constituency watoto wa public school watakula na watasoma so governor zidi kutupa, eh, kututendea jinsi ulituahidi zidi kusimama nasi na sisi governor unapokuja hata tunakuuliza usibandike posta tuweze tu kukuweka tu ndani bila posta maneno matendo yako yamepitisha haya huyu amekuwa ni Peter Karugaru Shege 
aka Filia Kenta mkaji wa Isili South na pia ni mwandani wa mshimiwa wa Isili South Rabu Nicholas Okwacho Juma na pia ni yuko kibarua kwa dishi na county na maitukua kitutlezea longa longa vile mambo yuko kwa dishi na county asani sana pita shege karibu katel tv